Hey guys, it's the Bricks, and today I'm gonna be showing you my mock of Yoda's, my custom Yoda's starship. It's called the Forever Starship. I don't really watch Star Wars, so I'm not sure where Yoda have a starship in the show. But I made it for one for him, and yeah, I thought it would be cool to show you guys. So. I want to make it like an official set and stuff. Of course, it's not like one, but yeah, we do have some mini figures included. We have Yoda, a custom young Jedi, and R2 D2. So we'll move the figures to a side for now. Now let's show you guys the 360 view of it. There's a side with some wings. Well, random color bricks, but yeah, they're just, you know, Add a bit of detail, I guess. In the back, we have the letter Y spell out. And right here is the same thing as the other side. So, the easiest way to get in is by removing the roof. And before I show you the inside, I just want to quickly show you the outside. So, right, right in the sides, we have some missiles and in the bottom of this ship oops I know that will happen and that's why I, you know kind of open it and this thing is fragile kind well really fragile and I just have to take it off and fix things well that's like a bad part of this ship well this ship is good for um you know kind of just displaying it's not really good for you to play with and stuff but i showed you one feature where this part can actually moves up but that's not the easiest way to put your mini figures in i'll show you the other way later on the very bottom we have um, a few of these landing pieces and this piece just fell off i just thought it would be cool to put it in because I want to show you guys how to store stuff inside. But I'm going to put that in later. So on the roof, right here, you can remove it. And right here, it's where one of the minifigures sits. And right here is where you put R2 in. And you can just place them in right there. And... Let me just kind of move them, if I could. Yeah, just do this. You have to pose them in the perfect position, and boof. There he goes his head, but I do not want to show you that. Let me just move on to the inside. And this part is where I put in the mini figures. So, as you can see inside, we have some white stabers already sticked in. There's this transparent mill box, which I'll show you what, what's inside it. You have this little part where I store in this. So, yeah, there is some spaces for some smaller parts. And right in front here, you see some tiles. And those are for this. And this is where you store in the minifigures. And I got inspired to build one of these Star Wars um, starships because after I watch well after I saw the ghost which is from Star Wars Rebels I thought it would be cool to make one and so yeah so you can either put your minifigures from this side which is a bit hard you put it in right from here and then to adjust it all you got to do is pull it out and push it in in the perfect place Inside there, there's a little clip that kind of just secures it a bit. It doesn't secure it in the best way, but, you know, it actually just works. And back, we have a sign, and this opened it up, and it reveals a mailbox. And for those with bigger hands, it's a bit harder to get in, so you have to take off that. And... Here is the mailbox, and inside we just got some holocrons, yeah, don't judge me because I don't really watch Star Wars, 
and I don't have the exact same pieces as, you know, all times pieces. So I just kind of custom my own holocron. Yeah, yeah. So two holocrons inside the mill box. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it about this custom model. It doesn't use up uh, too much pieces, but it's still a cool model with some of these um, slanted pieces. And before I end this video, I just want to tell you guys that I'll be away for a few days. And that's because I'm going to Japan. And I did not mention this in the update video, but I did... I did put in, well, I did say that in the description, so if you read my video description, you'll know that I'm going to Japan, and I said that I might be doing some vlogs, just to show you guys um, how's my trip, and we'll upload a bit more videos, so maybe uploading daily vlogs, and I won't be able to ed ed edit them, well, there's not really much stuff of editing to do in my videos. The only thing that I have to do is, you know, make the thumbnail. But that's okay since well, we don't need a thumbnail for a vlog. But anyway, make sure you check out my Japan vlogs when I reach Japan, which is um, like on Tuesday and Mon the flight is on Monday night. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure you hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. And so thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.